We've got the biggest boomer. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like me. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be that guy. Who's is there the guy a David that frozen Bacon court? outside? What? David oh yes. David yeah, yeah. Is it time for me to go on? Okay. Oh, go get it. Okay. Go get it. Oh, you got a freaking. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Bards on the Rocks, Manchester, New Hampshire on a Wednesday night, and I got a freaking like rock star poet guy. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, what, what is your name? Where is he? Oh, oh the me. Yeah. I'm Matt Richards. Matt Richards. Oh, your freaking poetry was great. Well, thank, well, thank you. And well, oddly, some of this poetry stuff is funnier than some of the comedians at the comedy <laughs> mics. I don't know. So, I got all these cards. You just pick a pack and something that maybe interesting or reminds you of childhood. God knows what you want to talk about for as long as you want. You sign a card for, you, for me and then you keep the others that you so desire. I, I don't know. I'm like, I'm interested. What about this Alf? Alf's a very popular pick. I was, I was like, yeah, I, my, my, my fiance is a puppeteer. Oh, wow. But yeah, and we, we were watching Alf once. Right. Because I've never seen Alf. And I'm just like, watching Alf. Right. I'm like, expecting Alf to be really funny. And I'm just like, they're terrible one liners. I'm like, why is everyone wearing, like, sweaters? Mm. Like, why is there a big barrel of sweaters? It was like the 90s or 80s Cosby sweater era. Yeah. And I think it just, not only, well, <laughs> not only was he getting, in, not only was he spreading his, whatever, he was also spreading sweaters around, I think. Ah. And, and anyway, uh, spread spread a spread a sweater to your friend. It, it won't be funny because the show the show wasn't funny. This should have been a good show. Like, well, how is Alf, like, you have to be the right age for it. You saw that at how old? I was thirty-one. Yeah, I think if you were thirteen, if you would be the reciprocal of that, it would have been great. I think I think Alf needs to be like a adult. Like he needs to be Ron here, which apparently he is offset. Like he tells like the dirt. Right, he was a stand-up comedian. Yeah. The, the main guy who came up with it. And then they had a, one of the writers from this, I heard the other night, was a huge heroin addict. And at the time, he was spending twice as much money as he was getting from the ALF thing, spending it on heroin. And he then later made a movie. How much do you get from ALF? I don't know. Let's say, it, well, it's not exactly. Like, let's say if he got paid $1,500 from ALF, he was spending $2,500 on heroin. But then he wrote a movie about heroin or something. But I don't remember what it was called. I'll have to splice that in. So go ahead and open it. See what you get. Oh, okay. Oh, I get to open it. The there's going to be a sticker, okay. there's going to be a fake baseball card, and then there's going to be cards. Okay. Sweaters. Oh, there we go. Sweaters. We're going to play hide and seek. Yeah, it's exciting. Oh. <laughs> My dinner is over. I think I can smell it. See, you're laughing at the jokes. <laughs> See, they should have done this. He ate cats, cards. too. Did you get shorter? You're going very, very fast. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves Alf. More sweaters. I got a pair of aces and this replica of my birth certificate. I, what? Wait, I am dumb. I don't get what they're saying. Is that like feet music? Is it a menu or something? Or is that, is that the Ten Commandments? What the hell's going is that, on is there? That, is that his birth certificate? There's Jeremiah. What Jeremiah, do we got there? Jeremiah, what is this? What a trouble. Oh my god. Uh, Alfie wrote, I plagiarized throat goat from Alfie? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Dude, you gotta come up with some more original stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although everyone was reading other people's poems tonight, I guess it's okay. Lock up your throats, lock up your goats, and tear my own. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Boy, that is some, that is a choice. That's a great sticker. That, With the Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, that's a sticker. Oh, I want this. Can I keep this? You keep all but one thing. You have to sign one for me and you keep the others if you so desire. Uh, yeah, the stickers are usually popular. And that's probably the stupid base, fake baseball card. That is not, 
but there would have been scratch and sniffs in what? Well, you can do that. Okay, I was like, is that, wait, is this a, this is a fake, wait, is this like a fake baseball card? Yes, it's a fake baseball card. Like, he played on the thing. Oh, uh, okay, the Brown Sox not going out of well his nose by using a net. Not only does he hold seven professional wizard records, wow. he's also friends with a man named Juan. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, it's like alliteration. Juan, wizards. Oh, okay. I guess. That, now that's an alpha. Like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I would, I would, I would expect that from that. Okay, so I need Awesome. To you just gotta sign one. I, I, and how long you, have you been doing poetry? Uh, I've been like performing out here like 15 years, but like writing yeah. since I was like nine, so like longer than that. Right. Yeah, but, awesome. Yeah, I've been like, I, well, I mean, you can tell you've been doing it a while because, you know, you've got some skills. This is this is juicy. you got, like, a juice box. i got to sign this. Oh, box. nice. It's got to sign, like, right over this juice box. And i got to... Juice box, not juke box. Ju it's, it's not, it's it's not uh, the fonts. I, I could... You probably could don't even know that reference. If this is prop comedy, we could use it as a juke box. It is prop comedy. These are, these are the props. You would be surprised how many freaking people have eaten the gum in this show. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. It's from like, whatever that's from, like 78, 82. No. Oh, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the gum back, too. I get this. You get this. Yeah. I don't want it. And you get the scarf. Awesome. And what was your name again? Matthew Richards. Matthew Richards. And hey, go see live stuff, comedy, poetry, whatever. Awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, so Dave. Much. All right, let's bring a real comedian up to the stage. Everybody, you ready for some comedy? Hands together with David Bacon! Hello. Hello! We I mean, fucking, uh... Mike is funnier. I was like, I already had a comedy mic earlier tonight. I was like, the poetry mic's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's see what, uh, someone says. Uh, oh, uh, let me just say, uh, you guys rock. Uh, on the rock. Uh, okay, oh, uh, yeah, just a joke. Oh, Stephen King, fucking, uh, I don't have a good joke, but I got a little, this is, this is not my Stephen King story, but I love this story because uh, I find so old shit. So, like Stephen King, I don't know if it was in the '80s or '90s. But, like he drinks and stuff, and he crashed and totaled his car. And then, uh, you know, if like in the insurance industry, if you total your car, it goes to like a thing, and then it gets sold at like an auction or something, whatever the hell. So, some fucking smart person like went to the auction. He was the only person that knew it was Stephen King's crashed car and bought it for fucking nothing. And like had somewhere Stephen King's crashed car. No <laughs> joke, just fucking, I love it. Uh, we're gonna try this here. You're supposed to like, in comedy, once, once something works as a closer, you're supposed to like move it to the front. But you're also supposed to not start off like really crazy, so. <laughs> I'm going to start with something clean, because I don't know you guys, or girls, or 21st century whatever. We <laughs> 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 were a lot different than last time I saw you. <laughs> Which is so cool. <laughs> I can do that too, I guess, you know. Um, I want to see you in a sundress, babe. <laughs> I mean, I wore a, like, a... Uh, like, oh. <laughs> God, in like 92, 93, I mean, I wore a freaking like skirt to school, like to college one day, just because I was like, yeah, no fucking underpants, you can wear that thing. You're like, why? This is great. I'm like, there's no sweaty shit in here? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Now, just hear me out on this. Sorry to say, I 
trigger warning. Sorry to say I don't mind pedophiles. Actually, I kind of like them. They always make me feel so good inside. Sometimes special, even. But only when they're being used on my feet. Come <laughs> on, a clean pedophile joke. Turn my act with a clean pedophile joke. Good evening, my name is... Hey, yo, some people have heard this one. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me, thanks for asking. Uh, ladies. Uh, gentlemen. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I can't say that. I don't... My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. Five minutes is too long, I'm sorry. I mean, that I'm useful. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. This one's new. I met and shook hands with both Biden and Trump. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Donald is just a dumb stand-up. And Joe is Frosty the Snowman. Something magical is keeping him going. I got the light. So... Oh, I ended with... I mean, I started with what else was to end with. I'm just doing this, dude. I don't care. I've never done this before. There's something I want to say arousing about very attractive, I want to say, ladies, sharply dressed, in heels, pref prefer I might go over this a little preferably stiletto, <laughs> bending over, better yet, Squatting and grabbing poo from their bitchin' little uh, bitchy, not bitchin', bitchy little dog. And I'm not talking logs. I should have said dogs, because then that's plural. I do a dumb thing, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hang there. Oh, and then I go, I just wanted to paint a picture for you guys, but I ran out of paint, which is so cheesy. Thank you very much. Please back on for David Bacon. I got a personal question for you. So there's been a long-standing tradition among the straight white men that come in and do comedy here with pedophile jokes. And I'm just really curious about this cultural heritage that brings to the rest of us. And uh, I don't actually want to know. <laughs> Make some noise for David Bacon! That's why I'm sitting. Oh. <laughs>